In this video, we will be demonstrating the beam apparatus, the SM1004, which is part of the materials testing and properties range from Tech Equipment. As you can see, this is a bench top frame with load cells and cantilevers for the study of deflection and forces on different types of beams for a wide range of supports and loads. You can also demonstrate Young's modulus. With this teaching product, you can carry out an extensive range of experiments for understanding the bending of beams, a topic that touches many material principle areas in mechanical, aeronautical, motorsport and civil engineering disciplines. Learn about the theory of pure bending, cantilever and simple supported beams, reciprocal theory and supported reactions for supported beams. Let's take a look around the apparatus. Great care has been taken in the design to ensure experiments are easy, clear and accurate, making it well suited to students working either on their own, in groups or for an academic doing a demonstration. As I've already mentioned, this sits on a bench top and consists of a sturdy steel mainframe that has an upper cross member carrying graduated scales. Then we have two lower members that are bolted to these T legs to form a rigid assembly. It is two meters in length by just over half a meter high and roughly the same in width. There are three load cells and a cantilever support pillar that all slide along the lower member. The load cells are calibrated so that each 10 newtons of down force moves the indicator by one millimeter. Look closely at the load cells now. Each has a direct digital readout and is fitted with a hardened steel knife edge that can be adjusted to set the initial level or to simulate a sinking support. The locking pins here convert the load cells into rigid support when required. The cantilever support here is a rigid pillar with a sturdy clamping arrangement to hold the beams when built-in end conditions are required. To apply static loads, four weight hangers and a set of weights come with the apparatus. Three digital indicators measure all beam deflections. These are mounted on magnetic carriers that slide along the upper cross member. The indicators, carriers, load cells and weight hangers all have cursors that register on the scale located on the upper cross member to ensure easy, accurate positioning. You'll notice that all the three digital indicators and the three load cells have sockets and cables for connection to Tech Equipment's optional versatile data acquisition system, VDAS, which further extends the learning outcome opportunities. In VDAS, not only can you take all the readings quickly to maximise lab time, but you can also chart the results and export them to Excel. A separate VDAS unit is required to act as the interface between the apparatus and the computer. But the software is boundless, it's free to download from Tech Equipment's website, which means that students can connect their own laptop with the software downloaded to make the most of the data acquisition opportunities available. For simply supported beam experiments, the load cells support the beam and measure any reaction force if needed, or they just work as support props. The weight hanger loads the beam at a fixed place and then the deflection indicator measures how much the beam bends at a given point. The first experiment is a great starting point. This is for supporting reactions for a point loaded, simply supported beam. For more complicated experiments, students use several weight hangers to apply loads at multiple points along the beam at the same time. The load cells can be used to support and measure the reaction forces. Moving on to look at the beams, as standard the apparatus comes with five beams, three of which are mild steel of different thicknesses, 3.2mm, 4.8mm and 6.4mm, plus a brass and aluminium beam. A small thing but worthy of a mention, there are storage hooks at the back of the apparatus for storing your beams when not in use. Tech Equipment also offers extra beam packs, including a pack of 10 beams that cover a wider range of materials including standard metals with different thicknesses and lengths, compound metals and a wood beam. More recently, Tech Equipment launched a range of composite beam packs that allow students to study basic composites, cord composites and variable stiffness composites. Watch the separate video for more information on the composite beam packs. 
Let's talk learning outcomes. With this apparatus, there are many, including verification of bending equation, determination of flexural rigidity and Young's modulus, verification of static equilibrium, deflection of beams on two simple supports with point loads, reciprocal properties for loads and deflection, plus simple and proper cantilevers with any loading. Then you can also look at continuous beams, whether they are statically indeterminate for simply supported beams or cantilevers are more than two supports with any loading. While I've mentioned cantilevers, you can also look at them both simply supported or with sinking supports. If you choose to purchase the 10 pack extra beam set, you can also learn about the effects of material and section shape on flexural rigidity, deflection on a non uniform beam or cantilever, and more. Click on the link or search SM1004A on Tech Equipment's website to find out more. Tech Equipment also offers a range of different beams for understanding composites, looking at basic, chord, and variable composites. Watch the video for more information or click on the link below. There is also a link that takes you to further information about the beam apparatus that we've shown you here today. Thank you for watching.